a uh, very good morning to uh, one and all. So in the previous class, uh, we have started with the iPod member theme. Okay. In that, uh, we have started with the primary cost. Okay. Primary cost, uh, we have completed that is, uh, that it will come labor and transportation cost. Okay. Now next, uh, we will see the agglomeration. This is a secondary uh, causes and both. Okay. Agglomeration is nothing but where group of industries come together, come together, establish more transportation cost cut in Okay, if group of industries, one or two, three industries operating same lo same location on operate more than another, trans transportation cost no cut in Okay, the coming together for agglomeration we call as coming together. Coming together or agglomeration of industries. Okay. Offer cut in the production cost. If two or three industries come together under one uh, minor factor under cost of production, cutting mark both. If two or three industries, uh, industries of operate in the same location. For example, one industry when raw material produce matter. Other raw material in an industry pay together. Other raw material under will transfer part both. In the industrial market, finished goods market, finished goods during supply market. In the other transportation cost, cutting market. Same in uh, showroom and order, car showroom. One showroom is the opposite to a uh, servicing showroom. In the other transportation, uh, transportation cost, cutting market. If, if with this, if two or three industries operate in the same location, that will operate as under development to our group. Travel development, road development, we see that both. Okay, if one, two or three industries, one day can develop, locate as other, various facilities to increase that both. Okay, hang that both. See, vapor visualized agglomeration is an important secondary factor. Okay, we told that this agglomeration is a secondary factor and both or secondary cause. Means industries occurs when several industries enterprises okay uh, with different industrial plants okay with different industrial plants if they mutually agree if they, if they mutually agree to operate and locate at a geographical closely located as under issue in and both sub cost no reduce are both we say that i think everyone understood what is agglomerate agglomerate under in and both when two or three industries one day kade, if they mutually agree, agree or planning to locate at one place, other than transportation cost no, uh, reduce our both. Okay. But in our both, some productivity no, easily develop our both. Savings are both in common use of such activities. In the other development to Jeliakta. Okay. Like if two or three industries, all the other roads development are both. Okay. Various facilities must be both like banking facilities with both water facilities are easily available are both. That says about agglomeration. Okay. See next, I will show you a diagram. See this is a diagram. Okay. Like we have A, B, C, D. These are the Four industries, okay. Four industries in the top are coming together and set up in at a one place. Okay, for example, you know, industry in the raw material manufacture manufacturer. Suppose you will pick up the raw materials, you will be some more, but you will finish your goods, smart goods, you will be for goods, but you will customer and supply more goods. That's the role of agglomeration. What are the lines we are saying is it is saying that. Area of agglomeration the transportation cost cutting on the cutter. What are the lines we are saying this in all the diagram? That says that uh, this is the least trans transportation cost, the transportation cost cutting on the cutter. So this is about the agglomeration. Okay. So next uh, we will see. Okay, next, uh, we will see uh, criticisms of 
uh, I'll put a bed button. Okay. Next, I will see criticism. I mean, again, criticize my Either same matter, what are the negative thoughts the people have given? That we will see. Okay. See, Weber's industrial location theory explains some basic influences. Okay. In again, by Alfred Weber, explained in detail order. He has explained about primary cause and secondary cause. All actual matter, transportation cost, labor cost, and agglomeration. All actual matter. Other jetty no in matter. Some uh, assumptions in uh, in assumptions put up under unrealistic put up under unrealistic here. Some people in matter have given their thoughts in it here. Unrealistic assumptions. In a month, it will have assumptions criticisms made. I do the what surgeon Florence said. Our theory put up. Okay, surgeon theory has explained this theory with the help of statistical. Okay, arithmetical data to explain matter. But he has explained in detail. But also he has given us criticism. Our in it assumptions put up. Totally he has given four assumptions. Alfred Weber has given four assumptions. The first assumption was a single isolated country. Okay. This was the first assumption. Second assumption said to some materials ubiquitous in them, like some materials all are available in them, ubiquitous. Okay, all are available, like water, clay, sand. Are two assumptions. Third assumption is to do some materials sparingly in them, and there are materials available in them, but in certain places they are still available in them. In order to do labor is not a ubiquitous. You all the assumptions here and the group unrealistic that that person has told. Okay, in a way, you according to critics, critics of this theory. Okay, critics under it, for example, whenever you see a movie, other many critics quote that, stars quote that. Either man do some people's economics and more do our criticize my group. What are the assumptions he has given? All the way and the group unrealistic. How he has do? Two elements about the human mind. I will go to that one. Okay. Yes, weight and the much yes distance cover mind. How much transportation weight much yes cover distance cover up there. Actually, here it is. Here is the distance cover cover up mind. Prices to differ up. That he has not explained. Weight to be transported. Yes, weight is that. Yes, distance cover mind. I don't hear you. Here it is much here is that. Transportation distance cover more of prices. Certain state or region itself, head itself, some country itself prices. That he has not explained. Okay. Then transport itself, uh, yes, quantity itself, yes, weightage itself. That he has not explained. And he has not explained the reason. One one reason or region itself, transportation cost, country itself, one one itself, head itself, transportation cost. Other one is other two toll not done. Other one is road not done for transportation cost. Other two person. He has explained only yes distance, but yes weight is there. Health of goods is there. That he has not explained. Health of goods is go to how much quantity is there. The other types of goods is there. That he has not explained. For this purpose, his theory was criticized. That uh, unrealistic assumptions. He has assumptions or not assumptions. Unrealistic are there. But in one man, a man over here too, weight but the distance. But the distance is still there. The other type of goods are out there. But quantity there now is a transport market. Price differ up to. This is the first assumption people have given that it is unrealistic assumption. Okay. See, uh, his first thing, uh, first criticism was unrealistic assumptions. Okay. Uh, like uh, four assumptions he has given that is unrealistic. Other jo the two elements but your matter is cost of transportation, weight must be yes distance or as they come. Adu he has given yaw types of goods he has given. Adu he has given different types of goods he has given. Other many transportation cost he has given that he has not explained. But yaw type of transport he has given based upon the modes of transportation uh, differ he has given. That is about uh, first, as uh, criticisms. Second criticism we have. See, uh, next we have labor centers 
a notion directly. Okay. Weber's ideas about labor centers have not also been accepted. Okay. He has stated with the free assumption that there are fixed labor centers with unlimited supply of labor in each, each of them. Obviously, both of them are assumptions are not correct. Okay, in other labor centers, how are you labors in a top and lack availability? Okay, labors we can see a lack of availability, but how the wages could differ at all? Okay, some state or again at all, wages current at all, some state or wages higher at all. One one center in a top, labors cannot be fixed. And the fixed another because industry creates new labor. Okay, suppose you have an industry burn under. Our head down labor is other than dependent on. Some industry requires skill labor. Some industry require unskilled labor. Some industry require semi skilled labor. If you allow labor, it will be equal to the Varies at all. According to types of labor, labor's wages do differ at all. Okay, similarly, unlimited supply of labor. Labor's we can say, another available at all. As we can say that. India, India is a labor oriented country. I think everyone knows. With the help of labor, we produce more number of goods. When we compare to the other countries, other countries are also capital oriented. Also. Capital oriented with the help of technologies, with the help of uh, capital, fund, they produce the product and services. But in India, we produce with the help of labor. In India also, we have labor in a fixed sector. But how do prices are also differs at all? According to the industry, industry has type of labor base, other many different. In India, we can say skill labor. Skill labor is available at all. That's available at all. Out of 100, we can say 10 to 20. But some industry requires unskilled labor. Unskilled labor is allowed to be able to do Because how do you say that? Cutting it because I am just here though. So this is the second criticism we can say that labor centers no to defect. Other labors in a low fixed labor of them. According to the industry, our Yao labor people, Anto labor, so we can say. New labor to create more. This is the second, we can say, uh, criticism. Okay. Okay. I think everyone has understood about ideas about fixed point of consumption. Here we can say that, once again, I will explain that uh, Alfred has talked about only two methods. In labor mode, transportation cost improves any other new only industry set up. Market. If there is no population, no, no market, no product, no other sell market. Some other banana. Usually, industry they not talk. They shift their industries or set up the industry where population is more. If population is more, means easily we can market our products. Easily we can sell the products. For this purpose, this may be what this is done. So with this, uh, we have completed with the Alfred Weber thing of industrial location. Okay. Next, uh, we will move to the another thing that is Sergeant <coughs> Florence Hill. Sergeant Florence Hill, in my room, he has explained this thing with two factors only. Two factors come on explain matter. And one more, he has not explained this theory with the help of assumption, assumptions. Or assumptions through Kotila, he has explained with about two factors. He has explained this theory with the help of arithmetical data. Statistical data to one, calculation to one, explain model. Okay. Our model, before starting any industry, now first, I will know that other state will get industries alone. I think I have explained, told about uh, four states, but one cotton textile industry. If you want to establish a cotton textile industry in UP, Madala know that they will get industries alone. If hard industries, if the other, we cannot set up, set up their industry. If industry is curry by the other, we can establish their industry. He has explained the theory with statistical data. Okay, data about theory explained matter. Okay. 
no doubt means uh, we will move to the next uh, theory that is sergeant florence theory Theory of industrial location that is Sergeant Florence theory. Okay, see uh, Sergeant uh, Florence theory. He was an English economist. Okay, he was an English economist. Okay, in my group he has published one book about investment location size of the plant. Okay, in 1948. Okay, also he studied the scientific method. Okay. With the help of scientific methodology, he has explained this theory. Okay, he also studied that the complex method of location, loca location, and finally he proposed the theory of Sergeant Florence theory. He studied the complex method. Okay, he studied the detail of the location. Then only he proposed the theory of Sergeant Florence theory. Okay, Weber's method is the total deductive methodology. Okay, his theory was. Totally deductive method. Deductive method means if tra transportation cost, labor cost minimize, that means industry will set up. That means deductive. He was talking about least transportation cost and least labor cost. For that, he called it as a deductive method. Okay. And Florence theory depended upon condensive method. Condensive method means he used various techniques to come to statistical theory or to come. He theory has explained. Okay, I think everyone knows he was an English economist. Okay, also he has wrote a book on investment location size in 1948. Other than that, all in all in the group, Weber's theory was deductive method. The other deductive method method of course, I mean, he has talked only about method that is what transportation cost, but labor cost in general minimize other than industry set up part. But his theory he has explained with the various techniques to go into, various statistical theory to go into. He told that before establishing or set up any any industry, first note it. Ado region or a yes industries are there. Okay, calculate my note it. Alle se kora yes industries are there. If alle industry iti na thera, alle industry set up mana. If there are more industries, means shift to the next region. Alle industry ni set up mana. He says about. Florence theory. Okay, he was the person who thought the problem of location is very complex problem. Okay, he was the first problem. He was the first person. Okay, who who thought? And there are more to. Yeah, the problem location means problem are related. Okay, I don't need to. The important problem he says. How many problem he says? How many are there? Okay, first problem or any are there? We should locate our plant or industry because to get profit. All the main motive one day sir, to get the profit. Okay, to get the profit. If you set up any industry, firstly we should not think about profit only. Madhye profit by the normal. Okay, first thing sir, I think everyone of BP put it. Break even point. Whenever we start any new industries, first thing sir, six months one year, neither profit neither loss happen. For BP, we can say break even point or break even analysis. Whenever we set up any new industries, we have to neither profit neither loss at all. For that purpose, our group, Sergeant Florence Theory, we should locate or set up our industry because to get profit. Okay. And also one more problem we find that in a place, we should locate or set up our industries to merge. To earn more and more profit, yes, profit only about two concepts: to get profit and to get more and more profit. For this problem, he introduced this theory, location theory, as introduced. Okay, people used to thought they used to get tangible results. You theory was introduced, Madhu Guru. Various people used to theory implement Madhu. Yeah, yeah, implement Madhu, our good results is good. Okay, once this theory was introduced. Introduced as well, 
some industrial people in Madhu, they would carry implement Madhu, industry established Madhu. Okay, established Madhu was uh, people used to get good results, good profit, agri kati too. And this theory and agri too got good respectable, respect to it throughout the world because this theory gave outstanding results. Whereas implement Madhu. Implement Madhu industry set up Madhu, Elari Janadu, outstanding results. Throughout the world, this theory got uh, worldwide assessment. Okay. Weber theories was criticized and Florence Hill was formed. I want to tell that Weber was the first person who gave theory on location. He was the first person who gave theory on location. Out assumptions, out uh, criticisms, assumptions, fail Madhu union. In Madhu Florence Hill, need to have explained Madhu. Statistic only in Madhu, explain Madhu. Same Sergeant Florence Hill, okay. Uh, Sergeant Florence has given his theory about industrial location, which has become popular. Okay, when this theory was introduced, his theory became popular. Okay, he started with the idea that some of the Weber's assumptions are not realistic. He also stated that even assumptions is to Alfred Weber, four assumptions here need to out the other non realistic is to under a reality design. Okay. And according to him, geographical location of industry is not an important distribution of occupied population. Yeah. Sir, next slide, please. Okay, what he has told that, he also told that we should establish our industries where population is more. Okay, he told that population should be the primary factor. If people is the only industry set up, people is the some products and services extract matter. If there is no people need, we cannot market our products and services. He also told that. In one part, you know, theory and agree to worldwide accept that too. But here and there, through Alfred's assumptions, here and there, unrealistic and true. And one more, he has given main focus on population. Where population is more, all industry set up matter. If there is no population means we cannot set up our industry. And as well as he told that population is the most important factor. And he talked about two concepts. This two concepts he has explained in theory. One is location question and coefficient of localization. See, coefficient of localization is answer from here 0 and 1. If 0 means we can establish the industry. If 1 by the we cannot establish our industry. With the statistical data he has explained. Okay. Location quotient and run, find out what about the industry yes or no. Two examples I have given. One is about cottage industry in UP and in four states. Okay. This uh, we will study in the next class. Okay. Uh, these uh, two concepts we will study in the next class. And uh, criticisms uh, we will study in the next class. If this complete means third will put it up and we will move to the fourth unit about industrial finance. The meaning uh, we will study in the next class.